वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल कैप्टन चंदन सम फ्लाइट कंप्यूटर रिलेटेड नोमेरिकल्स दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो फॉर सी पी एल एंड ए टी पी एल एग्जामिनेशन विल सॉल्व नोमेरिकल बाई फॉर्मूला एज वेल एज फ्लाइट कंप्यूटर दैट इज सी एक्स थ्री सो विल स्टार्ट नाउ स्टैटिक एयर टेम्परेचर द टेम्परेचर ऑफ अनडिस्टर्ब एयर इन अदर वर्ल्ड इट्स ए टेम्परेचर ऑफ द एयर अराउंड द एयरक्राफ्ट अनइफेक्टेड बाय द मोमेंट ऑफ द एयरक्राफ्ट थ्रू द एयर इट इज कॉल्ड आउटसाइड एयर टेम्परेचर टोटल एयर टेम्परेचर दिस इज स्टैटिक एयर टेम्परेचर प्लस द टेम्परेचर राइज एसोसिएटेड विथ हाई स्पीड फ्लाइट ram rise the ram rise is the result of heating due to air friction and compression think of it at temperature that the aircraft skin feel ram rise only become a factor at a speed above approx 200 knots and it is proportional to the aircraft speed so the faster you are flying the higher the ram rise at jet speed of 0.80 mac or higher the pilot can expect a ram rise of above 30 degree celsius now we will see in the diagram a static air temperature total air temperature and ram rise the pitot tube basically it is used to measure flow of air velocity air give air speed of aircraft static air temperature is the outside air temperature which undisturbed by aircraft but the situation is different when air get inside the pitot tube due to friction and compression it got hotter than static air temperature which cause wrong information obtained in the instrument so the amount of heat increasing due to compression is caused by ram rise so ram rise is total air temperature minus static air temperature and formula is tas divided by 100 ka whole square so example if the ta is 400 not what is ram rise so ram rise is 16 degree c if you put the value of ts in formula navigation computer can be used for following function calculation of ts from cas correction of compressibility error calculation of ts from mac number calculation of true altitude from indicated altitude calculation of density altitude from pressure altitude we will look calculation of ts from cas the formula is ts equal cas bracket 1 plus 1.75 percent times altitude divided by 1000 this is a formula for ts or you can use the flight calculator also for example if you are flying at 100 knot cas as flight level 200 in in international standard atmosphere find the ts the ts is if you put the value the answer will be 135 not now we will use flight calculator or flight computer to solve this numerical so in flight computer what data we need so we need a pressure altitude so it is given in the question that is a flight level flight level and pressure altitude are same and calibrated air speed we have a 100 knots and we need one more thing that is called outside air temperature so we have to find outside air temperature if we put three data in flight computer we'll get the ts now we have to calculate outside air temperature as we know flight level or pressure altitude measured from isa condition that is 1013 decimal 25 hectopascal pressure setting where temperature is plus 15 degree c so when altitude increase temperature decrease at 2 degree celsius per 1000 feet so at 20000 feet temperature from isa will be 15 degree that is isa condition minus 20000 times 2 divided by 1000 so if you solve that one you will get outside air temperature that is minus 25 degree celsius now we'll put all the data in flight computer now we are on cx3 so we have to calculate the air speed that is true air speed so we'll go here that is a uh, air speed then press enter here first we have to put outside air temperature it is in fahrenheit so we have to set in degree celsius so, so we press the set unit 
Now it is in degree Celsius. We'll put the value minus 25 degree. So we'll put the value minus 25 degree. Then press the yellow one button. Now we'll move on CAS. So CAS is 100 knots. So 100 enter and pressure altitude is given 20,000 feet. So we'll put 20,000 feet. We'll get a TAS that is 136 knot. So this is our answer. We'll see the next question. You are at 18,000 feet pressure altitude and the static air temperature is minus 30 degrees Celsius. Kelvin air speed is 170 knot. What is true air speed? Use the formula to solve this numerical. So if you put the value, the TS will be 223 knots. Now we will see by flight computer. So here we will go to air speed column and we will put the value outside air temperature that is minus 30 degree. Then we will go for calibrated air speed. It is given in question that is minus 170 knots. And the pressure altitude that is flight level is 18,000 feet. We'll put the value and the answer will be TS will be 219 knots. The answer is quite closer. If you use formula, the answer is 223 knots and by flight comb 219 knots. So use the closest one. Correction of compressibility error. Compressibility correction is not required at air speed less than 300 knots TS but must be applied if the TS of more than 300 knots. Thumb rule is TS can be calculated by adding 2% of the CAS for each 1000 feet of pressure altitude. We'll see some example. Flight level 350 outside air temperature minus 47 degrees Celsius. Calibrated air speed is 280 knots. What is two air speed? So 2% of CAS will be 5.6. Now for flight level 350, it will be 5.6 times 35, that is 196. Adding that value in CAS, the answer will be 476 knots. This is a TAS. Now we'll see in flight computer. So we'll go in air speed column. We'll put the value outside air temperature is minus 47 degree minus 47 degree will come here at cs cs is 280 knots 280 knots and pressure altitude is that is a flight level is 35000 35000 feet so the ts will be 481 knot calculation of True air speed from Mach number. Mach number is the ratio of true air speed to the local speed of sound. Mach number equals TA divided by LSS that is local speed of sound. If we, if we rearrange that one, TS equals Mach number times LSS. Local speed sound equals 38.95 times square root of temperature. Temperature in Kelvin equals degree Celsius per plus 273 degree. We have to convert degree Celsius to Kelvin. So the formula of TS equal Mach number time 3.8.95 under root 273 plus degree Celsius. So example are on the screen. If you put the value, the TS will be 480 knots. We'll see this question on flight computer. So we'll go in air speed. We'll put the value outside air temperature that is minus 47 degrees Celsius. And we'll put now the Mach number. Mach number is 0 0.82. 0 0.82. If you put the TS will be 480 knots. Calculation of true altitude from indicated altitude and temperature. Indicated altitude is simply that altitude you read in that altimeter. True altitude, the vertical distance of aeroplane above sea level. Expression feet means sea level. Many of the airspace altitude train figure always an airways obstacle you will find on aeronautical chart are expressed in true altitude. And the formula displaying on the screen.
kindly remember this formula now we'll talk about temperature deviation ice deviation is actual temperature minus ice temperature actual temperature is when the aircraft is flying and that level ice temperature means a temperature measured from plus 15 degrees celsius at sea level to the altitude where aircraft is flying so if altitude increase temperature decrease at the rate of 2 degrees celsius per thousand feet for a short example if you climb from sea level to 1000 feet the isa temperature will be plus 13 degrees celsius because temperature decrease at the rate of 2 degrees celsius per thousand feet so at 10000 feet isa temperature will be minus 5 degrees celsius for example indicated altitude is 20000 feet a static air temperature that is outside air temperature is minus 35 degrees celsius what is true altitude we know that formula isa deviation equals actual temperature minus isa temperature putting the value in the formula isa deviation is minus 10 degree we'll put the temperature and indicated altitude in the true altitude formula it is 19,260 feet. For easy calculation, remember this formula which are displaying on the screen. Calculation of density altitude from a pressure altitude and temperature. So what is density altitude? Density altitude is the altitude in the ISA atmosphere which correspondent to the density which you are experiencing in your current ambient atmosphere. It affect aircraft performance and engine power. Density altitude had nothing to do with vertical distance, a measure of aircraft performance. So the formula of density altitude is pressure altitude plus isa deviation times 120 example pressure altitude at patna is 5500 feet a static air temperature is plus 35 degrees celsius what is density altitude so first we will find isa deviation now put the value actual temperature is plus 15 degree minus isa temperature so the deviation is plus 31 degree celsius putting the value density altitude is 9220 feet you can use flight computer to solve this numerical we'll see density altitude in flight computer so we'll go in altitude column then we'll put uh, pressure altitude is 5500 Outside air temperature is 35 degree Celsius. So the density altitude will be 8931. Triangle of velocity. We will learn how to find track and ground speed. Example are given on a screen. Heading is 000 degree true, that is 360 degree true with TAS true air speed is 100 knots denoted with single arrow wind velocity coming from 240 degree to 40 degree with 30 knots which is coming from left denoted triple arrow so the track will be right side of heading denoted by double arrow will use flight computer to solve this kind of numerical so in this kind of problem we look wind correction we have to go in wind correction column then you will see, see we have to find a ground speed we will not feel anything and ta is given ta is 100 knots and course we have to find it and heading we have a 360 000 means 360 wind speed is 30 knots wind direction is 240 
if we enter now you will see ground speed is 117 decimal line that is 118 knot and course is 13 degree now we learn how to find heading questions or example you can say are on the screen track is 155 degree we have to find ground speed wind direction and velocity is 040 degree with 40 knot we'll find heading and true air speed is given 140 knots we'll see the solution on flight computer we'll go in wind correction again so ground speed we have to find and uh, we have to find heading too so ta is given ta is 140 knots track is 155 degree and heading we have to find wind speed is 40 knots and wind direction is 040 if we enter you will see ground speed is 152 knots and heading will be 140 now we will find wind so the question is on the screen heading is 060 degree with 140 knot ts track is 065 degree with ground speed is 120 knot so we have to find wind velocity it is very simple again we will use flight computer we'll go again in the wind correction tab we'll enter here so now we have a ground speed ground speed is 120 knot 120 knot ta is 140 knot track is 55 degree heading also given is 060 degree so if we enter the wind speed will be 22 knot or we can say 23 knots and wind direction is 87 degree now we'll find the wind component we already discussed in previous video kindly do watch for detailed information any forecast wind is given in true direction example TAF METAR and VOLMED ATC controller and ATIS always give wind in magnetic because runway is in magnetic direction kindly watch my previous video wind component I covered that chapter in detail and thank you so much for watching my video God bless you